Let me ask you a question them. about insulin resistance. What yeah, percentage that's right. this is insulin resistance, right? Yeah. What, what percentage of your cardiovascular disease patients would you say have insulin resistance? It's not as big as you read on Twitter because there is, and Twitter is an interesting site. Many academic doctors and cardiologists are on Twitter and give the university viewpoint of things. But there are many university professors and bloggers and trainers and nutritionists, and you'll hear it's not cholesterol, it's insulin resistance. Um, I think it's around 40% of America is judged to be pre-diabetic or type 2 diabetic and under 20% of children, but massive numbers, terrible numbers. And we do now know if your doctor says you're pre-diabetic, that's basically a lab panel diagnosis. You're just not bad off enough to be called type 2 diabetic, but you could be if you gain weight, change your diet for the worse. You could also go the right way and lower it. Um, and prediabetes is very much a disease. Those are all forms of insulin resistance. But if you do the advanced testing, fans, fasting insulin, um, it's, there's something Quest Lab does called an insulin resistance score that I do on patients. They do have to be fasting blood for that. So they have to come to the office prepared or do it at their hometown prepared. Um, I'd say about 25%, not as high as you read uh, on you, the internet. Now I have a lot of plant-based, yeah, I have a lot of plant-based patients. They pre-select themselves sometimes because they're more lifestyle oriented. And maybe I'm seeing a little healthier population. I see plenty of people that are still, they literally walk in my office with their yellow bag of McDonald's. And so do you, do you up. test for insulin resistance uh, with your patients? Is that one of the tests you guys do with everyone? Yeah. If you, again, Quest Lab has their version. There's a popular lab called Boston Heart Lab. There's a corp. They will offer at least get a fasting insulin. Again, Quest does something called an insulin resistance score because they measure a few more parameters. The final test that is difficult in terms of awkwardness is that old fashioned two hour glucose tolerance test. Right. They give you a bottle of, you know, glucola, 75 grams of glucose. You get a baseline blood test, ideally your blood sugar and your insulin. You drink the stuff and for the next two hours, they repeat at least at one hour and two hours. And well, some people that look pretty good will just, and now people are wearing, of course, continuous glucose monitors. If you're eating and your sugar is over 200, you're insulin resistant. And waking up in the morning and you're fasting insulin 118, you're undoubtedly insulin resistant. Thank you for listening to this short clip from the Nathan Crane podcast. Please share this on social media. And to listen to the full podcast, visit NathanCrane.com.